All right, everybody, hello. Hope these headphones work. I am hoping that this isn't too loud. Um, I am here to finally deliver on the uh, sex ed video, so here's some quick facts for everyone. Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Underwear Only, or that's what you can call me. I would like to talk about birth control because I think uh, it's a topic that people is like have an understanding of, like generally of what it is but they don't uh, technically know what it does so uh, you are going to the doctor for the first time and you are uh, a young lady and you have excuse me in this philosophical experiment that we're having right now <coughs> Excuse me. Ranch. Raunchy. I can talk. Um, you are, uh, you have irregular periods. You are uh, new to menstruating. Menstruating is a fancy word for bleeding. Uh, when a woman has her period, that basically is the uterine lining. Uh, your uterus for a lady is like on top of your birth canal. They are attached, but they are not the same thing. The vagina is not the same thing as a uterus, nor is it the same thing uh, as like just the birth canal. The birth canal is in the vagina. Um, and the clitoris is uh, just a, a little bit on top of it. So knowing all of these things, uh, when a woman is having her period, that is the uterine lining sloughing off. And that is happening because uh, no egg, uh, an egg, uh, you know, women have eggs, or eggs as I say, I'm from the fucking Midwest apparently. So uh, when an egg is not implanted with sperm, uh, it just sloughs off and then it, it, the result is blood. So for women, if you're going to the doctor and you're saying, hey, I want birth control, they're going to give you a number of options. Uh, you can take a shot, you can take a pill, you can take, uh, you can have a, a, a device implanted in you. So uh, I guess you can kind of see that it, that goes from short term to long term. So if you don't want to have kids for a long time, you might get that device, the IUD implanted. Uh, and the effects vary the further you go up. <coughs> Big fucking truck sign. So if you just have birth control, that's going to give you a consistent dose of estrogen and progesterone for three weeks of the month. And some of them just do estrogen, some of them do just progesterone. Um, you get that for three weeks of the month. For the fourth week, you get no hormones, and then that's the week that you're supposed to be bleeding. Makes a lot of sense. So why it is helpful for women, if you know when you're supposed to have your period, you know when you'll be pregnant, okay? So that minimizes the chances of um, late-term abortions or the need for abortion uh, because if you catch a pregnancy early enough uh, in the cycle and you realize you don't want to carry it to term, it's much easier to do a chemical abortion than a surgical abortion. And these are topics that I'm sure a lot of people don't want to talk about, uh, but they will affect you and someone you know in your life uh, very soon. Uh, so it's important for you to have the facts. Uh, so a lot of people say birth control is chemicals, and I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you that your body, you yourself make chemicals all day long chemicals are how you feel things uh, when you feel joy sadness that is literally a chemical response so if you're a woman and you're new to the whole um you know birth uh birthing situation you know it might be a good idea for you to get on birth control so that you know when your cycle is falling so that you're not surprised and by anything so you know your body better birth control mimics at chemicals that you already make gives them to you excuse me in a consistent easy to digest form and it, it, it has very amazing results women using birth control is pretty much what brought you all of the great things of the 60s so i don't know why women now don't like birth control because it gave us the freedom that we have so desperately wanted um so yes there can be some emotional side effects uh some you know I said this before on the internet the other day, a lot of women 
have been used to having irregular hormone regulation. You get used to that, you know, you get used to anything. However, when you do get on birth control, it can be a little bit of a, a switch because you will be getting a lot of estrogen. Your body will not be having to make it um, as much at first. The idea is that your body kind of starts to figure out how to do that on its own. Um, and again, that might not be true for everybody, but that is the general idea and consensus of what I've gathered from all of the different doctors that I've talked to. So, um, it is, it's incredibly helpful. It's an incredible family planning tool. Um, as far as, uh, like practicing safe sex, if you're on birth control, that doesn't guarantee, uh, that you won't get pregnant, um, or it doesn't guarantee that you won't get STDs. It just minimizes your chances of an unplanned pregnancy um, by like, you know, I think 95%. Those are good odds. So for that 5%, um, that doesn't account for sexually transmitted infections, as they call them. Um, the shitty thing about STIs for guys is that you can have something for a long time and not know it. Um, you have uh, external sex organs meaning that everything was all sealed up and uh, for any symptoms to show, you'd have to be able to see inside of your uh, the urethra inside of a penis. And that's not possible or likely for most men to be able to do that. So you, men will go longer than women will uh, because we have um, you know, internal sex organs. You can see them um, and interact with them and it's a lot more apparent when there's a problem with them. Uh, so, that being said, if there are any weird odors or discharge you experience with your genitalia, do not hesitate to go to your local county health services and uh, I get some free STI screenings. If you don't have local county health services in your community, you can feel free to contact uh, Planned Parenthood if you like that organization. Uh, get your money's worth. They do offer free stuff to uh, people that need it. <coughs> uh, okay. And what is another important point about STI screenings? Um, you know, uh, you gotta be my main thing to anybody that's watching this. Do whatever you want with your genitals, they're yours, right? You're gonna have to explain afterwards, not me. And what you do with your genitals is like between you and them. And hopefully that's another, you know, happy, consenting adult. Um, you know, if, if you're an 18 year old and you're like a 16 year old, don't. Like, just don't. Here's um, just don't. I don't think it works out. The examples we've seen aren't good. Um, that being said, wear condoms. Um, if you want to stay STD free, if you don't, then feel free to stop by the Planned Parenthood and get uh, tested when that doesn't work for you. Um, Basically, everyone always says that women and men, uh, women uh, advance more quickly than men, and I think that's true in some ways. Um, but I think guys have a lot more to learn about um, women than they realize. And I don't know if that parallel makes sense. I've got the sun in my eyes. Um, the other most important thing about birth control that I see um, to kind of tie back to my original point was that it helps hormone regulation with women. Um, so if your partner's happy, then you're more likely to be happy. Um, and again, um, you know, for anybody that's trans or on the spectrum, birth control and um, some of these uh, ideas, might you might feel like you're being excluded, however, uh, birth control is just as important for, uh, you know, lesbian girls as it is for straight girls, just like STD testing is just as important for uh, gay boys as it is for straight boys. That being said, uh, any of you engaging in uh, uh, gay sex or anal sex, I guess I should say, it's very important to know um, that you are uh, doing what feels good for your partner, asking before you do anything, and making sure you use lubricant. Um, because you want to be able to use your butt for the rest of your life, right? The main thing that happens uh, or that can go wrong with anal sex is in incontinence. That means you just shit yourself. That doesn't sound like a good thing to me, so be careful with that. Um, so, 
when you have sex, you can get STDs or babies. Pick wise, so have a good day.